There are two types of keyers used in Atom Mini, upstream keyers and downstream keyers. Upstream keyer, also known as an effect layer, can be set up as a Luma, linear, pre-multiplied chroma pattern or DVE key. Downstream keyer can be set up as Luma or linear key. A Luma key or self key consists of one video source containing the video image that will be stacked on top of the background. All the black areas defined by the luminance in the video signal will be made transparent so that the background can be re revealed underneath. Since only one image is used in defined area to be cut out, a Luma key uses the same signal for fill and key. The following video shows how to use Luma key. This is camera 1. Fill source. Choose camera 1. And the key source choose camera 1. Background is a still image. Now click on air. Now we can see the white area and the black area become transparent. White font color is good, but black font color will cause problem. That's the limitation of the Luma key. The luminance of fill must hair than the background. A pre-multiplied key is a special combination of the fill and key signal where the fill signal has been pre-multiplied with a key signal over a black background. Photoshop generated images that contain an alpha channel are pre-multiplied. Atom Mini has an auto key adjustment for pre-multiplied key so that when the pre-multiplied key setting is enabled, the clip and the game parameters are automatically set by the system. Photoshop images are pre-multiplied by nature so you should always use a pre-multiplied setting on the Atom Mini when keying them. This lower third is an example for the pre-multiplied key. Chroma key is commonly used. In a chroma key, a color from one image is removed, revealing another image behind it. Green or blue are common colors to remove. We click chroma and choose camera 1 as fill source. Next, we choose a chroma sample. Now click on air. We can see the effect. Still image is a background. HDMI input 1 is the fill. We can see green area become transparent. Chroma key has limitations that images cannot have the similar colors to the key color, or they will become transparent. A linear key consists of two video source, which are the fill signal and the key signal. The fill signal contains a video image which is to be stacked on the top of background, while the key signal contains a grayscale mask that is used to define regions of the fill signal to be made transparent. Since both the fill and the key signal are video input, both signals can be in motion while on the screen. Here I use the free software to show how linear key works. You need two HDMI output from your PC and connect this HDMI output to your Atom Mini. One HDMI is for the key source, one is for the fuel source. Okay, open the software H2R graphics, then you click key fill, chat, then we can use this as an example. There are two windows, one is key, one is fill. Then we move key window and the fill window to separate screens. These are two input for Atom Mini. Here I use downstream key to show how to use it. Fill source choose camera 3 and key source choose camera 4. Click on air. Then you can see a nice lower third. Linear key has no limitations. A pattern key is used to display a geometric cut off one image on top of another image. In a pattern key, a key or cut signal is generated using the switcher's internal pattern generator. The internal pattern generator can create 18 shapes that can be sized and positioned to produce a desired key signal. It is simple to use, so I will not discuss more details. DVE 
are used to create a picture-in-picture -picture box with borders. Atom Mini has one channel of 2D DVE that allows skill, rotation, border, and offer drop shadow. Here is how I use DVE care. 